Country History Lesson, we're taking a dive into the history of local shipwrecks. Emily Griffin spoke to scuba divers about what's under the St. Lawrence waters. As much fun as people have on top of the St. Lawrence River, it can be even more enjoyable under the surface. Tom Rutledge is a member of Shotline Diving, a volunteer organization documenting the shipwrecks of the river and Lake Ontario. There's at least 250 wrecks from Picton to right where I'm standing. One of the more notable ones is in Cape Vincent, the wreck of the St. Louis steamer. That one goes from three feet down to roughly about 12 to 15 feet to the deepest part of the wreck. Another popular wreck is the General Hancock Ferry on the side of Mandolin Island. Upon the life expectancy being met by the Hancock Ferry, it was laid up on Mandolin Island and abandoned there and has remained there ever since. Abandoning or purposefully sinking ships was not uncommon once they'd done their job, like the Wolf Highlander. They ran from 1946 to 1986 in the area. So people remember that one. They get a chance to go see it. But some others were taken down by rough waters or incompetent sailors. The AE Vickery, it's located right off of Rock Island Lighthouse. The pilot was brought on, he hit the Rock Island Lighthouse, sank the vessel, and then fled. And the captain hunted him down, going from bar to pub to see if he could find that captain that caused his boat to sink. Many of the bigger ships were grain or coal carriers. Not all that exciting when they were in use, but thrilling to explore underwater. We have wrecks going back to the, at least the 1700s. Um, that are documented. Um, Jim Kennard found the HMS Ontario, one of the biggest, most significant finds in Lake Ontario over the years. And, you know, there it is laying in the bottom with all the cannons and everything still on it, the same way that, it, you know, it was when it sank. The sister ship to that is, is located on the side of Carleton Island in the North Bay, the HMS Hall Demand. These old British sailing ships that were used in battle to fight the U.S. and the Americans in the War of 1812, you know, you can go see them. They're there. Whether it's an old warship, a lost barge, or a simple schooner, North Country waters are brimming with history. Emily Griffin, 7 News.